years from now, there's people that's still going to be having these conversations based off of who cheated on who, whether or not you're going to stay, whether or not this person is for the streets, how much money that they bring to the table, whether or not a man is masculine, traditional roles, women that got children out of wedlock, all of this other type of stuff, and you're still not going to be able to vet a woman effectively. You're still not going to be able to tell the difference. You're still going to be having conversations based off of whether or not marriage makes sense or not. Why do you think that the alphabet community absolutely, positively, 100% advocated for, and it wasn't the people that was on the streets. They were just the, pre the puppets. They were the people that was a part of the agenda. They was the ones that was the most visible. The people that was really changing the laws and advocating for marriage between gay couples had nothing to do with the people that was on the streets that was protesting it. Why do you think that was such an important thing? Why do you think that the concentration of power was so important with regard to these people that are now being adopted into the Senate and legislative branches. I just seen yesterday Kamala Harris swearing a person that was a part of her, her cabinet that was a part of the alphabet community. Why do you think that that was so important? Why do you think that power... Listen, if marriage wasn't important, then why did they protest for it so hard? If it wasn't a part of the power structure, if we, wouldn't, if we shouldn't be looking at it from a business perspective, then why are they fighting for it so hard? Why is it so important? Huh? Why are we redefining what the law is that God then ordained and then changing it into something that, that is different from what it is that we've seen it from originally? Why is it so important? Riddle me that. Marriage is incentivized for you to continue to be successful, but because you don't have the right information. Listen, listen, listen. We know what curriculums, what degrees, and what fields you need to go into in order to be able to make a million dollars or more in your lifetime. We know what they are. And then let's bring this back into the relationship conversation. And I'm going to open up the chat for y'all. I'm going to open it up for y'all to come up and say whatever it is that you want to say right after that. We can have a conversation. We know what you need to go into in order to make a bag in college. Now, answer me this. Why do we still go into liberal arts? Why do we still go to college to study film? Why do we still get basket weaving degrees? Why is she still trying to be a social worker? The first thing that I think that men should be asking women is what do you do for a living? Not necessarily to better for, to, to figure out whether or not she's going to be submissive or not, but to better to figure out whether or not you can leverage who it is that she is, who she is and whether or not she really will play a role in your life in order for you to be successful. <laughs> <laughs> y'all not hearing me though y'all not hearing me though because you still focused on whether or not you can get your dick wet I promise you let me get comfortable it's going to be one of them nights I promised you last week I promised you I said listen fellas I'm going to do the research I'm going to really deep dive into what you guys need and I'm going to give you the information that you need in order to level up and be successful. You're going to have to participate in your own success too. Open your hearts. Hear me. Open your hearts and hear what it is that I'm communicating to you, fellas. I'm going to give you the game. I'm going to give you the information. It's up to you to take it and do something with it and level up with it and leverage it in order to be successful. Divest yourself from her, not necessarily because of her sentiment, or her mindset, or whatever it is that you think that she looks like, or because of that, so on and so forth, divest yourself from her because you can't leverage her in order to do anything other than to fuck her. If all you can do is bust her down and figure out whether or not she can cook for you, you are a primitive Neanderthal. We still having conversations about whether or not a woman can cook from scratch. Now, don't get me wrong, I like women that can cook from scratch. But fuck your cooking skills. I don't care about whether or not you can cook from scratch. I'm trying to figure out what your 15-year plan is and do that figure out. Does that 15-year plan also mean that you're trying to go through into community in order to then leverage that in order to get into the right circle so that you can run for office in our local city? And then what does that then turn into long term? Are you going to leverage that experience to all, in order to get into the federal government? Huh? Are you a, a part of somebody's cabinet? I want to know whether or not you volunteer for somebody's political campaign and who that was and then what, the, what does that look like for me long term? Listen, the conversations that we have over coffee and dinner is the dumbest fucking conversations ever. 
Is he a real one? What? Ruth Chris? What was the last book that you read? And what are you trying to use this information for? Ah, that's crazy. What are your political beliefs? And then if she tell you, you know what? I'm leaning this way, but it doesn't necessarily reflect the way that I vote because I understand it from this perspective. And this person is probably going, yo, if, if she not communicating to you what her voting patterns were based off of what her long term perspective of how it is that she can leverage this information, you talking to the wrong woman. If you're not in a position to be able to have a conversation with her about her voting patterns, you're not in a position to talk to the right woman. If she's asking you how much you make for a living, instead of asking you whether or not your long term goals are then going to foster a greater relationship with this person in order to really get to the bag, you're talking to the wrong woman. <sighs> we still talking about whether or not she for the streets. Those, are, those conversations are important. But those conversations are important to regular people. I know a lot of y'all going to sit here and argue with me and talk about how much you want to be regular or regular people do this or Anton, you, you did. Listen, listen. Somebody is going to hear this and they're going to start having a different conversation. I don't I don't want to see y'all talking to these basic hoes no more. I want y'all talking to scientists. I want y'all to talk to biology majors. If, if she's in political science. I need to know that she's not in political science just because she didn't want to do a STEM degree, but that she's in political science because she's trying to get into politics, right? I'm trying to understand exactly what the power move is. If you're not asking who her father is, not necessarily just because, you because you're trying to understand whether or not he raised the right, but who her father is to try to understand what his power is, then you're having the wrong conversations. Let me take a drink, man. This is an unpopular conversation because it's, it's, not, it's not talking about the same old things. It's not talking about the same old things. I'm going to drop the link in the chat for y'all to be able to say what y'all want to say. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. If you want to change the narrative and ain't nobody talking like I'm talking, you know why? Because they can't. They don't see it. They still, you know what they're going to talk about? Man, because if she fine, you know how many dudes is going to be hitting her in her DMs? Man, don't you know the chicks that I know don't even check DMs? The women that I know don't even check DMs. They're more concerned with their LinkedIn than they are with their Instagram. The women that I know don't check DMs. They're more concerned with their LinkedIn than they are with their Instagram. They wear pantsuits. The women that I know wear pantsuits. They don't give a fuck about no DMs. I got to go and hunt for a woman that want to accept the DM. 